five? Six. Six. Are you man enough to say no? It's going to be circumstances and things that come up where you're going to have to say, no, man. No. In the back of her mind, she's thinking if you cannot say no to her, how can you say no to Sister Hot Pants in the front of the church? Are you man enough to say no? And I'm some, as you see in some of the things I'm saying, I'm repeating itself, but are you man enough to say no? Some things you're going to have to say no. I did a show on it, and the amount of women that came on, they, were, they wanted to crucify me. What do you mean, tell me no? I don't like no man telling me no. I'm, I'm this. I can do this. I don't, my, I don't need no further. <laughs> I'm a man. I, I'm, a, I'm independent. And I know y'all ain't heard that. But guess what they want? They desire. They desire a man who can say no. This is the way we're going. Are you men enough? And I know a lot of men get saved and get Jesus, and it seems like they lose their masculine, their backbone. You know what I mean, Pastor? They just, they just get come soft. But can you be man enough and just say, no, this is where we, this is where, and not in a sense of being mad or I'm the man, because if you got to announce that you're the man, you are not the man. <laughs> and you got to say, I'm the man right here. I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of this tower. I'm, I'm running this. You ain't running. No. But are you mad enough to say no? No. I guarantee you. What happens is, let me give you another 